Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia with a 2.4 GDI engine. If you have any of these uh, uh, vehicles guys with a GDI engine and you have check engine light on and any of the following codes such as code P0075, P0076 or code P0077, stay with us, we will explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get together we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and that engine here will be taking it apart and we will teach you how to fix pretty much anything on it why we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can now if guys you need to buy any parts to use for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said let's explain now how we can fix any of these codes so this is the engine guys but uh, recently i've been reading the comments that many of you request information about the scanner diagnostics that we're using here at the shop so uh, let me go ahead and show you about that quick uh, now i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from and you can check the current price as well it works on hyundai kia and almost any car you can think of it's amazing too that can pay itself off practically in one time yes so if you look right here now okay let us explain you will need to remove your upper engine cover right here on the left side next to it you have that vvt solenoid that is known as a variable timing solenoid that solenoid has a connector here the purpose of that solenoid it controls the variable timing for the intake camshaft you have one of those on the back side for the exhaust camshaft it's super important guys things that can cause these codes okay number one inspect the wiring harness make sure it's not broken Make sure the wires are not pulled out of the connector. Sometimes people will grab and pull for the wires. Never do that. Pull for the connector itself only. Inspect the connector, make sure it's clean. Now, let's explain what else can cause that. We'll go ahead and remove it quickly. Uh, we'll have a detailed video how to remove it if you want to check it out, guys. Not too complicated, but we're going to go ahead, quickly remove it and show you, okay? Four, five more things that can easily cause these codes as well. Now, if it's stuck, we may need to use pliers, ours is not because we recently removed it for another video. So that's it right there. Now, the purpose guys, okay, the purpose of uh, that uh, thing is, you can see it has different oil, uh, different holes where oil flows through. When it opens and closes, okay, it actually uh, advances or retards the timing. So things that can cause these codes are dirty engine oil, engine oil that hasn't been changed low level of engine oil or using the wrong type of engine oil also having a defective air uh, engine oil filter can cause that because it will restrict the amount of oil that can flow through the engine and that can actually affect it another thing that can cause that okay and that's the most common one is faulty or dirty vvt solenoid if you want to see how to clean the vvt solenoid nine out of ten times you can clean it okay and save it we have the video on our main channel that you're watching now how to repair guys check it out also we have a video that explains how to test vvt solenoid and find out if it's good or bad but those are the most common causes for that code guys for any of these three codes thank you for watching and see you next time